Welcome to the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson, and here's the seafood news for the week of February 8th, 2016. As sockeye inventories begin to dwindle, lesser quality products have begun to surface. After several months of strong movement, we have seen a lot of lower quality number one headed and gutted sockeye salmon left over in the market. Number ones are unbruised, firm meat texture and with no scarring. However, lower quality number ones typically have not as bright meat color with meat texture ranging from slightly soft to soft. Number two quality H&G is a good opportunity for processors who will portion to avoid bruising. Current pricing on number two H&G sockeye can range between 280 and 315 a pound. If you can find high quality number ones, expect to see strong pricing. Four to six pound H&G number one quality sockeye was in the mid, low, mid to low $3 range during the fall or during the fall months and began dropping last month. With limited inventories left, prices have spiked, surpassing $3.50 a pound in Seattle. There are a few alternatives to sockeye, but some believe that farm salmon will fill the gap. Chilean farm salmon fillets have jumped 20 cents in the week on Trim D fillets in Miami. The 7% increase could be attributed to higher demand while the market seeks sockeye. Buyers should be wary of sockeye offers right now. Don't be fooled by value pricing as they are likely buying inferior quality. Our Tradex Live offer of the week is for our premium quality sockeye salmon fillets. These are one to three pound, Sinbad Platinum brand, packed one by 25, and in Seattle for $5.50 a pound. Mention this ad to your sales rep to receive 20 cents off per pound on orders over 5,000 pounds. Click or tap the icon above to view this offer. And finally, over to Kyla now for an Alaskan fishery update. Fishery managers met last week in Portland, Oregon to discuss problems facing the Gulf of Alaska trawl fishery. The trawl fishery will transition to an individual fishing quota program in hopes that the co-ops will end the race for fish at the beginning of every season. This race no longer exists in most of the other Alaskan fisheries. Selective fishing times should create safer working conditions and maybe stabilize the market too. Speaking of Alaska groundfish, we see possible shortages in Alaskan cod and Chinese processors could source more expensive raw materials from Russia. Twice frozen IQF Pacific cod loins are currently between $2.90 and $3 per pound in Los Angeles. If Alaskan raw materials do come up short, buyers should prepare for twice frozen Pacific cod loins pricing to push up between 5 and 10 cents per pound in March. Back to you, Rob. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson. Buy smart and eat more seafood.